Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a fab layout using some of the new Sea Life collection from Ramble Fox and a collection called End of Summer by Echo Park Paper. And I'm going to use that really bold pattern paper in the background. Um, it's a bit out of my comfort zone because I don't tend to do very, very bright layouts. Um, but to counter that big um, sunburst, I'm going to use a nice big bold circle in the middle of the paper. I did toy with the idea of cutting up that paper into um, wedges, which I see a lot of people do. Um, so I was trying to do something a bit different, I guess. Now we've got a new stencil in the shop this month, uh, Stencil 35, and that was to go with the Sea Life uh, collection. And um, what you'll see, there's lots of twirly bits and I, and I was testing out a bit of paper there and you can see you can get all sorts of different effects from one stencil. So each edge has a different wave or a different scallop um, and you probably need to get your head around it, but you probably need to use upside down to a certain extent. So the stencil above, I think naturally I'd want to use it like this where the stencil's below. Um, but for the scallops for sure, um, I guess you can use it as a scallop. Um, but if you want the wave effect, then just flip it upside, you know, flip it um, with the stencil at the top and you'll get those nice traditional waves. So the idea is you can uh, use the outside edges as a wave and then inside we've got various wave shapes as well. Or, and so they don't have to be waves, they could be just um, some nice kind of wavy detail. So I'm just using Salvage Patina, one of my favourites, and I'm just going to give it a light um, effect at the bottom of my page there. I think I wish I'd have probably done another couple of layers. Um, that would have been nice, I'm guessing, but anyway, I'm, I'm pleased how it turned out. So because I've got quite a bit of white left at the bottom there, I was just filling in uh, lightly with the same colour. So I'm pretty pleased that looks really great. Love how that turned out. And um, it's gonna be quite simple in the design really because um, I've got quite a big photo. Um, I think it's a six by four photo, which I don't often do. And it was from a trip um, to Disney actually. <laughs> so nothing to do with uh, actually being on the sea. Um, but it just helps with the theme. Uh, just that I saw, I was looking at some photos and I saw that big ship's wheel. I thought, oh, how perfect. Um, this set, the set I'm using actually comes with set sail and one of those big ship wheels or a ship wheel and um, some anchors. So what's not to like about that? So I'm just going to lay colour on the background now, just for a bit more interest at the top there. And... Um, I was using Tickle Turquoise and Winter's Mist, although I think that original colour was actually on my cellophane bag from the last time I used it. And so I'm not quite sure what colour that was. So I did use some of the packaging technique, as you can see, just to lay down some colour. And then I'm moving it about with my round paintbrush and then finally adding some splatters. So it's just really to add a bit of interest to that, um, that circle. So I'll leave that to dry now. And um, I actually got my, um, my collection. So I didn't get the whole collection. Um, I do love it though. I love all the bright colours and the little icons and so on, my favourites. And um, I got the 6x8 pad. So that's 6x8, 6x6 pad. Um, which makes me feel a whole lot better if I need to use some paper because um, before I would just use a 12 by 12 and then feel guilty about using a little slither of it. So yeah, that's a good top tip. I did have a bit of a splurge from Hey Little Magpie recently. So, <laughs> um, so they'd released some of the new collections, summer collections, and uh, wow, well, what's not to like? So I ended up with about four different collections. I didn't, I didn't buy lots of it, but I did buy um, lots of collections. And I'll tell you what I love about Hayley Little Magpie. They're so quick. I, I placed my order on the, like three o'clock 
Thursday afternoon and it was here the following day. I mean, what's not to like about that? <laughs> I think I'd placed it and then within about 20 minutes, I got a confirmation to say it had been dispatched. So I just managed to catch the post there and uh, Sarah was amazing about dispatching it so quick. So it cheered me up no end for the weekend. <laughs> So this is how it's going to go. I've got um, a dive, that sunburst thing that you can see, and then I've die cut uh, just a circle over the top. Um, and I love how that turns out. And I've also cut die cut some leaves. I am a big fan of leaves. So I use some of the pattern paper um, and I've also used just some cardstock. <clears throat> excuse me and I'm just trying to decide you know how should that look at the top right and um, while I'm thinking that over I then tend to stick down other bits that are going where they're going and um, when I'm sticking down my photo I always leave the edges free because I love to tuck things behind my edges of photos and placements of things So um, I am going to stick down. So another layout that came together actually in one session. And I kid you not, I am the world's slowest um, scrapper. <laughs> so when it happens, um, you get a nice clear vision of what you want to do. Um, and it all just comes together. I love that. Because I feel like I've joined the rest of those professional scrappers out there. <laughs> they can scrap in a session. So I'm always in awe of certain people, Nikki. <laughs> How you manage to, uh, um, you know, really pull together, you know, amazing layouts, you know, and you make it look easy. And I'm sure it isn't, but you just make it look easy. And uh, so I'm, in, I'm always impressed with that. So I did have the 12 by 12 cardstock sheet sticker, sticker sheet. And, um, oh, look at it. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but they're so cute, the little items. And... Um, in the Sea Life collection, I've, I've used lots of it from Bramble Fox, um, but rather than use some on this layout, that I really wanted to, like the fish and the little crabs and so on, um, I just wanted to stick it to um, this set, um, just to give you an idea of what's in this set. Um, so, you know, the, the little fish, the whale and so on, oh my goodness, you could just have, you know, use that again and again. <laughs> because it's so darn cute so I'm just going to stick things into place um, I love a bit of sunshine haven't you so <clears throat> as I say I think it's great when you've got a nice clear vision of where you're going with things because that's more or less done isn't it you could stop there if you wanted to but um, I'm not going to stop there <laughs> I'm going to use one of the little anchors and I've got um, some wax thread. Um, you can find this stuff online. It's for book binding, I think is the intention, but I really like it because um, it tends to hold its shape and you can see there, although I do have difficulty with this one, it tends to hold its like kind of round shape because it's been on the spool. I told you I couldn't resist those little crabby friends. <laughs> I might sneak on but um, I say I'm trying to avoid it just to, to keep with the one pack so I don't know if you saw the paper snips um, for this collection so paper snip two and um, it's fab because it's got lots of journaling at the top and then lots of uh, cute images at the bottom so I've used one of the little coral pieces I've designed them so they're easy to cut out um, because I know not everyone's a fan of fussy cutting. And my apology is that I have lost the bottom half of the layout. Hopefully it won't matter too much because you'll see those on the close-ups. So this is where I'm having a problem with that twine. So it's just got a mind of its own and I'm trying to stick it down. <laughs> But yeah, the paper snips, um, I say that I love journal words that you can just tick in here and there because I tend not to do journaling. Um, yeah, I'm on the naughty step. Um, so so I, I just like those just because they save me having to write anything. <laughs> and um, I love that adventure that came on that paper snip. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's a lovely like, navy colour. 
So just go with anything basically because it's a very neutral colour. And um, I'm going to probably cut it off there, but I end up adding the um, adventure um, embellishments down the bottom left there. And uh, I think the close-ups are coming up now. And I've also added one of the little lighthouses. I've got one left over from Ocean Waves. Um, came with two lighthouses. I love the effect of the denim against that. Um, this, oh, there you can see the lighthouse and the other little anchor. Um, and I love the effect that has with um, against the stenciling. So I'm really chuffed how that turned out. I hope you've liked that too. I'll leave details of the products below and um, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.